Hello friends, welcome back to the video series on basics of cell scripting. In the previous video, we have discussed how if else condition is used in cell script. More precisely in the bash cell script. This video demonstrates how we can use if else in script to find any file name or the file exists or not in the current directory where the script resides. Practically, this video is based on the file test operators in cell scripting. Let us work on the same script hello.sh as previously we have worked with the previous videos. Let's open it. So already the baseband is given there. Now at first we are typing the line echo then minus e. Then suppose we want to write enter file name to search then a colon then slash c then end up double quote then read the file name with the variable name suppose that is file underscore name then we are providing the if condition if then a space then the square bracket start and after that a blank or space must be there then the minus e and then the dollar file underscore name then the space and end of square bracket now what is the meaning of that minus e flag that flag is responsible to check the existence of the file the next line is the keyword then and after that we are providing echo suppose the file name for that we are typing dollar file underscore name exists so if the file exists the condition is true and the echo would be the name of the file and then exists other than if the file does not exist so the else must be there and for that echo once again dollar file underscore name does not exist end of double quote and obviously the last keyword must be a5 to end the if condition and also the if else condition so at first save the file and we try to execute the script The file is obviously in the desktop directory. So cd desktop and here we can find out ls that means hello.sh. So type dot slash hello.sh. Enter file name to search. Suppose at that moment I am providing a file name new file although that new file does not exist in the desktop directory so what should be the output press enter new file does not exist and obviously there is no new file so here we can create a file named as new file let's check what happens after that so once again open the terminal and here T O U C H touch and the name of the file new file press enter and obviously you can see the new file has been created here now once again we can execute the script dot hello dot sh and at that moment once again I am providing the name of the file as new file 
so what should be the output here new file exists so as the flag minus e is for the file exist or not another flag is there that is minus f and that is for it is a regular file or not and also it exists or not so here we are just changing the flag from e to minus f and here once again we now check the same comments so already we have created a file that is new file and we can check with it control s to save the file and once again we can execute the script so here dot hello dot sh and here we are providing the name new file press enter new file exists once again we can check with another file that is the file itself that means hello dot sh let's check hello dot sh and hello dot sh exists just we are changing the name that means hello dot sh1 hello dot sh1 does not exist yet now we have used the minus e or minus f flag for checking of the files now we can also use the checking of any directory and for that we can use the flag minus d so here we are changing the flag from f to d and also we are giving the name of the directory with the variable name file underscore name just we are changing the echo that means here we are just adding one word directory exist or here directory does not exist so it would be better so here we are providing and checking once again after saving the file with the control s let's check with the directory so control l to clear the screen at first and once again we are executing the script file and here we are providing the name of the directory new file suppose just check here we have given the n that particular letter with a capital n new file directory does not exist so here we can create a directory at first no directory is found here so here with the command prompt we can create a directory that is MD, mkd and then new file press enter and already that new file directory has been created now we can check the same script with the same directory name dot hello dot sh and here we are providing new file new file directory exist now look already we had the flag that is minus d and that is for the searching of any directory name so here if we provide the file name that is new file that would be a different output new file directory does not exist although that is right written as directory because we are just checking for the file new file but not for the directory and minus d is for the checking of the directory so minus d is used for the directory checking now suppose we at that moment give another random directory name and here suppose we are giving dir new that obviously not present on the desktop so dir new directory does not exist ls really no directory is there with the name as dir new now there are basically two types of files block files and the character special files block files are things like hard drive partition memory devices etc and for that minus b flag would be used 
minus b would work for that particular files not like regular files sometimes it is said minus b flag for the binary files like image music or video files it is completely wrong let us check it with music or image files also and then we should check what should be the output with the minus b flag for any other block files or binary files at that moment so at first we are proceeding to the directory that is documents and here we have three files present first one is the string.txt that is a text file then logo.png and then hello.mp3 just copy it and paste it in the desktop so here two files are present hello.mp3 is a music file and logo.png is an image file let's check what happens with the block devices just at that moment we are changing the code or the flag from minus d to minus b control s just at that moment we are removing the word directory from here control s to save the script now at that moment execute the script one second and control l at first ls so here we are executing the file hello.sh enter file name to search remember minus b flag is given there so here we are providing hello dot mp3 does not exist hello dot mp3 does not exist that means minus b flag is not for the music files once again check it with the image file and here we are providing logo dot png sorry that must be ng logo dot png does not exist so for which purpose minus b flag is used once again block files are things like hard drive partition memory devices etc just at that moment sudo f disk and minus l to check the hard drive partition it is just asking the sudo password or root password so here we can check the hard drive partitions suppose slash dev sdf5 is present and we are control l to clear the skin and we are executing the files one again and here we are providing slash dev slash sda file let's check what happens with the output and that hard drive partition exists so the minus b that particular flag is not for the regular particular files that is for the hard drive partition or memory devices like that now the character special files those are also not the regular files which contain some characters like the text files rather character special files are the character devices like tty and serial consoles let us check it with any text file also at first and look at the desktop directory once again we have a file that is named as string.txt that means a text file so at first once again we are changing the flag from minus b to minus c because the minus c flag is used for the character devices control s to save the file and now execute it so here dot hello dot sh and we are searching string string dot t x t obviously string dot txt does not exist because minus c flag is not for the text files but once again we are 
executing the file or script and here we are providing slash dev slash tty let's check what happens with the output and that particular character device exist so those are the purposes of minus b for the block files and minus c for the character special files now to check any file is empty or not we may use the flag that is minus s so already we have created a file that is known as new file ls minus al check the new file that particular file has zero the size so here we should check with that particular new file and here we are changing the flag from minus c to minus s control s to save the file let's check control l to clear the screen and now we are executing the script and we are providing new file practically we may change the output also here file name we can write not empty and we can write here that one empty control s to save the file that means minus s flag would check the file is empty or not if empty the condition is true sorry if not empty that is the condition is true then otherwise it should be treated as empty so let's check with the output so here we are providing new file uh, sorry maybe that one has not been saved so once again we are executing the file at that moment i am providing new file and new file empty obviously we have ls minus al that is the new file has the size 0 and also we can check with cat new file because there is no content available now we can add some contents to the new file and for that we can use the command cat then redirection sign and the new file press enter it is asking for sub content a b c d e then if we want to save it just press ctrl d so once again we can check what should be the content of the new file a b c d e now at that moment it has some content and once again we can check it with ls minus al as now the new file has a size 6 but not 0 control l to clear the screen once again and at that moment once again we are executing the file that means the script and here file name to search and we are providing new file as it is now not empty previously it was has been given as empty now it is not empty so new file not empty but previously you can check it has been given new file empty but at that moment new file not empty now there are more different flags available for the permissions available to the files and those are read write and executable permission once again check with the ls minus al and also we are working once again with that particular new file now check arm for the read permission w for the write permission r once again r for the read permission w for the write permission but no executable permission is present here so here for the read permission the flag should be r and here we are just providing read and here 
we are providing not read control s to save the file and let's check what happens with the output as it has the read permission available so we are just checking with hello.sh and we are providing new file and new file read that means the read permission is available here for the right permission checking we may check it with w flag and here for the read we are providing right and also here not right control s to save the file and once again execute it and also we are providing new file the name of the new file so new file write once again the write permission is available for that and for the executable permission we have to use the flag that is x and here suppose we are providing executable and here also we are providing that is executable control s to save the file and let's check with the same file once again as you know here the file new file has no executable permission so the else condition would be there so here we are providing the name of the file new file and new file not executable now if we want to change the permission of the file suppose here chmod with minus w with the new file so already if we one second check minus al so at that moment the new file has no write permission control l to clear the screen and at that moment once again we are changing the flag from x to w and here we are writing write and here not write save it and let's check what is the output here hello.sh and here we are providing the name new file new file not right but previously it was has the right permission but at the moment it has no right permission so new file not writable so that is the way how we can check the file exist or not or the file permissions available or the file is empty or not or the directory exists or not in the bash cell script if you find the video is useful then you can like comment something or share it and also don't forget to subscribe the channel